Lawmakers in Tallahassee debating a controversial abortion bill today. A protest held today on the steps of the Capitol. The bill would ban nearly all abortions at 15 weeks. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live now in Tallahassee for us once again with the latest developments on this one. Glenna. Calvin, the House session is underway in just a little while. We do expect HB5, that is the abortion bill, to come up for a floor vote, but only after what could be three hours of debate. And this would be the most strict Florida abortion bill in recent history. You know it's already been debated for weeks in committees for weeks by all accounts from who we talked to in the House today. Minds have been made up from the beginning. Opponents have the volume and the emotion. Clerk will unlock the machine. Members will record their presence. Supporters here have the numbers as the Florida House prepares for the floor vote on a bill that would limit a woman who needs or wants to terminate a pregnancy to 15 weeks. We will end the most barbaric types of abortions that happen in the state of Florida. It is less than 4% of the total abortions that occurred last year. The House bill sponsor described fetal development in 15 weeks, mirroring Mississippi's law now at the Supreme Court, but debated in the scientific community. Whether it's for the midterms it's coming up or for whatever next campaign people are planning on running, this is political fodder because if you actually cared about life for people, this is not the way to address it. Representative Dottie Joseph of South Florida is among the reps who tried 14 times to amend the bill, technically called reducing fetal and infant mortality. They added exceptions for women impregnated by rape, incest, coercion, or human trafficking all failed. Piling um, more and more trauma upon these people that have done nothing wrong. Has all of this debate and all of these committee hearings, has anyone moved anyone else's needle? No. It has a way to go today in the House, but when it does pass, and there's no one here who thinks it will not pass the House today, it then goes to the Senate. Here's something interesting. We spoke with a Republican senator, a woman who also comes from a very conservative chamber in the Senate, who really does have questions and concerns with this bill. She is from South Florida, and you will hear from her at 6 o'clock. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Tallahassee today. Local 10 And we look forward to it. Thanks a lot there.